What would you do when someone has stolen from you? After everything I've been through to find you? I think you already know. I'm sorry, Mother. Of course, you're right. The group that calls themselves the Railroad have acquired several synths from the Institute. Synths that had gone missing in recent months. They no doubt mean to free these synths, in their delusion that synths are somehow... sentient beings. You've been in contact with the Railroad, so you're aware of their misguided beliefs. They mean well. They're only doing what they think is right. You dealt with Libertalia. That's the result of their selfish, short-sighted plan. Usually they are a minor nuisance, but lately they have become more... emboldened. I'm afraid we've reached the point where a response is necessary. We have learned the current location of these synths, and need to reacquire them before the railroad can hide them. I'm not sure why you'd bother. Aside from taking back our property, we must teach them a lesson, as it were. And quickly at that. But it's important that we act on this soon, before the Railroad has any indication we've tracked them. We also don't want the Brotherhood of Steel getting wind of the presence of the Sins. That would only complicate matters. Hey. I'll act quickly. You can count on me. You'll have a contact waiting for you just outside Bunker Hill. Good luck. I just heard the most fascinating rumor. The story goes that you actually found the Institute. Been there and back again. Sounds crazy, right? Where'd you hear that? Deacon brought it to my attention. And, as usual, he won't give up his source. It's all true. Deacon says you used teleportation. I can't imagine. You must feel justifiably proud of what your Minutemen have achieved in such a short time. Eventually, the Minutemen will devise their own plan to deal with the Institute. But I doubt your soldiers will place any priority on rescuing the synths inside. I'm counting on you being as passionate about freeing synths as we are. Please, work with us instead. I'll stick with my people in the Minutemen. Of course I'm disappointed. But hopefully in time you'll come around. The fate of the synths depends on it. Carrington wants word. Desdemona. Please, work with us instead of the Minutemen. The lives of many synths are at stake. You think the Minutemen won't help the synths? The Minutemen are a reflection of the character of the Commonwealth people. And time and time again, that character has been proven to be rotten. The synths are tangible receptacles of their hatred of the Institute. Order them to help, and they'd mutiny. I don't know. Take your time. Think it over. But remember, the synths' fate is literally in your hands. When... running since Hey, X4. I've been waiting for you. So, what's our situation? I assume you've been briefed? Our target side, four cents under railroad protection. Majority of the settlement is uninvolved and are expected to run for cover. The situation appears to have 
escalated. A covert approach is likely impossible. The mission's parameters just changed. We're going shooting. Requesting backup relay now.
Yes. Let's do this. That's what you want! I've been looking for you. No, no, I, I, I've got money. It's yours if you let me go. You're safe, okay? I'm gonna let you go. Oh, God, thank you. given us another chance at life. We won't forget it. You've given us another chance at life. <clears throat> we won't forget Thank it. Thank you for sparing us. Excuse me. We'll get somewhere safe as soon as you're gone. Hi. I can't believe you'd do that for us. Thank you.
How you doing, buddy? Hey, boy. Think you can... See if there's any good stuff nearby, boy. Detected. Curious. Movement detected. Curious. By order of the Institute, you must be destroyed.
You know, in all my years, I've never set foot outside the Institute. Not once. Since the day they brought me here. I've never had a reason. But now, this just confirms the truth I've always known. The Commonwealth is dead. There's no future here. The only hope for humanity lies below. So why come out here? To put things in perspective, I suppose. Standing here, I'm reminded of how fortunate I am that I was spared a life in this wasteland. I know that to you I was kidnapped from that vault. In truth, the Institute rescued me. Both of us, really. But why refreeze me? As a failsafe, of course. I was the perfect candidate. An infant with uncorrupted DNA. But if something were to go wrong, if I died, well, the Institute realized a contingency plan was prudent. Another source of pre-war DNA preferably related to their primary subject. It only made sense that my parents should fill that role. So you were kept alive and safe within the vault. I'll admit, when I had you released from Vault 111, I had no expectations that you'd survive out here in all this. To not only do so, but manage to find me. To infiltrate the Institute itself. Extraordinary. Why let me out now? After all this time? That's... Well, that's hard to explain. Certainly it was no longer necessary to keep you suspended. I... Well, I suppose I wanted to see what would happen. An experiment of sorts. Would the Commonwealth corrupt you? As it has everything else. Would you even survive? Perhaps most curious to me. Would you, after all this time, attempt to find me? And now I know the answer. Well, here I am. Was it worth it? I believe so. Soon, I hope. I hope you'll understand. Everything I've done has been for the future. A future which I hope is not in jeopardy after recent events. Bunker Hill did not go well for us. Would you care to explain what happened? I made a choice. I let the sense go free. Why? Why would you do something so... so stupid? They were afraid. They didn't want to come back here. Afraid? They're machines, artificial. They're incapable of being afraid. This was such a simple task. I just don't understand. I know you're capable of handling yourself. How can I expect you to represent the Institute if this sort of thing continues? What if I don't want to represent the Institute? Have you thought about that? To be quite honest, no, I hadn't considered that. It would be such a poor decision on your part. I had not given it much thought. So, where does this leave us? I need to be sure I can count on you going forward. I had hoped we could be something like a family again. I hope you shared our vision for the future. I'm afraid there's no room for sentimentality, Mother. If you are not with us, then you are against us. Whatever you do going forward, do not interfere with the Institute's plans. I hope... I hope you can find some amount of peace. So, that's it. We're done then. Goodbye, Mother. <laughs>